second chapter of Romans for my Devo time today. And see, I did remember. Yes, I am in Romans. Yes, I'm reading Romans in the message. Not something... I, I don't usually use the message for my personal devotion time, but sometimes you got to mix it up. Sometimes you got to switch it up and just let that happen, right? So I was reading the second chapter of Romans in the message. And I got a few different things, but the big take home was the truth about judging others. And the truth about judging others and why it's so dangerous is that as soon as you start judging other people, you're taking your eyes off yourself, off your own walk with God, off your own right behavior of how you're doing and you're looking at somebody else and this is something that's very strong in the book of James as well um, I think it's 411 but of course you'd have to you'd have to check it out and keep me honest with all of that um, so the idea obviously is you can't sit as a judge over God's moral law at the same time as you can be a doer of the law. You can't be a defendant and a judge in the same courtroom. So that's why it's so important not to judge other people. And that was one of my big take-homes. Another one was the idea of seeking the glory that only comes from God. You know, I think it's so difficult in this day and age of social media, clicks and likes, to ignore the feedback that we're getting from people, to ignore the fear of man. I might not be enough of this. I might be too much of that. It's so difficult to ignore that and lock in on what the inner man is telling us about the pleasure of God with us. Jesus rebukes the, the Pharisees for seeking the glory 
that comes from each other and not the glory that comes from God alone. Ah, and there's another one that just cuts me. I can't even be living my life all about the glory that comes from the members of my own little Christian group, notwithstanding the fact that we should affirm one another. And when somebody's knocking it out of the park, we should, we should encourage them. And I should receive that encouragement, all of this stuff. However, when the group gets off track, if our focus and our motive is on the glory that comes from the group rather than the glory that God alone can give, the praise, the affirmation that comes from the group rather than the praise and affirmation that only God can give, ah, that's that opens up a big blind spot, you know? The Jewish leaders who rejected Jesus were very devoted, you know? And I'm sure, in many ways, very sincere in their desire to, to do the right thing. They got off track. So, I must seek the affirmation, the praise, the glory that comes from God alone. And there's some of the stuff I got out of my Bible reading. Love you, baby.